Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you a binding that I've created. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that's ever thought of this, but it's the only one. I mean, I'm, I didn't watch anybody else and then copy what they did. I thought of this on my own. I don't know if it's already out there or not, but here we go. Okay, so the first one I did was this one. And I had a bunch of coffee dyed paper that I thought was kind of, like, I sell the coffee dyed paper, but I like it to be, like, just perfect with no marks on it. So I made a journal with the ones, the rejects. So what I did here, I think there's just one signature in here. And as you see, it's sewn in. But what I did was I sewed it in onto a piece of fabric and then I after I sewed it to the fabric then I glued it onto the book to create this little thing I don't even know if I'm in the frame okay so you see I glued I mean I sewed it to the piece of fabric and I'll show you what I did and then I glued it to the book so I still have to do the cover but the journal part's done. Maybe I'll put pockets inside. I haven't decided yet. But yeah. So then I made a couple more. This one. See? This is a piece of fabric. And I just sewed the pages to the piece of fabric. And then I glued it into the book. Just like that. One more. See? Same thing. I just sewed it right to this piece of fabric and then glued the fabric down. So this one's going to need some work on the covers. And then I also added this cord so that you could save your place wherever you are. And I'm going to add. Did I just move the camera? Shoot, now I gotta check, sorry. And I'm gonna add some kind of charm to the end of this, but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for the cover yet. But yeah, this is my binding. So now I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I picked out my fabric that I decided would look good on here. And I'm not good at straight lines or anything like that, so none of my stuff's gonna be straight, but, and you know, it's clearly handmade. I sewed one in already, as you see. Just sewed it right to here, and now I'm gonna sew on the second. I'm gonna fold these, obviously, first. And I'll probably just set the rest of this to music because I don't really have anything to talk about. Maybe just stop it when I say something pertinent, which I don't think I will. Like I said, I'm just going to sew it right to this, which I will show you. And then I'm going to glue it on. So. And I've already got my I'm using um, an upholstery needle, I believe. So I've tied that there. And then I've tied a knot here as well. So first I'm just going to go through the pages. And I like, I want my knot to be showing. So that's why I'm going this way. And just shove it right through. And I shove it through the paper first. And then I'm going to shove it through the fabric. You know I'm out of frame, sorry. Okay, so then. 
know, it's going to be crooked. It's not going to be exactly right. But I mean, if you're better at that than I am, then yours will be. Then I just stick it through the fabric. Pull it all the way through. Which is going to then... This is much harder to do when you have a camera to worry about. Like I said, I'm just going to dub over this stuff anyway, so I don't even know why I'm talking. And probably fast forward it, because I'm effing it up. And then I just move my whole camera again. Son of a bitch. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Once you get the first couple of stitches in, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. This is so... See, the other ones I only did one signature. And this one I've decided to get ambitious for some reason. And I think it's going to be my downfall, but we'll see. If nothing else, I got all those other ones done, and you get the general idea of what I'm doing. So, hopefully, if nothing else, you at least learn something. go right back through the other holes. Oh, I fucked it up.
Oh my, f is this, look at this crap. Is this for real? If I can get on camera, everything that can go wrong does. Okay, so clearly I messed this up. So we're just going to do a little fixeroo. Like I said, if you're better at this than I am, it's not going to be an issue for you. What I'm trying to do is just fill in these gaps here. That's all I'm doing. Just going right back through those holes. Well, for the most part. I'm gonna deal with you. Two signatures was a little ambitious for me. Shit. Um, considering I just started doing this binding, but, you know, whatever. I'm not selling this one, so I'm not entering it into a professional journal making competition or anything here. I just wanted to show off this new stitching that I came up with. Whether I'm the first or not, I get, like I said, I don't know. Probably not. But I just thought it was a really neat idea and I wanted to share it with everybody. So, so now that it's all the way through, what I do is get a little bit of this fabric. Oh my goodness, this fabric, though. And I did two loops. Then I'm going to do another. I'm going to pick a different spot. Do one, two loops again. It's ripped a little bit. Okay, then we're going to cut it off. And we're going to figure out how it's going to go in our book. This, ugh, it's really starting to irritate me. I didn't realize how runny this fabric was. So we got the two signatures in there with a tiny little bit of fabric in between. Some screw ups. But like I said, this is my first one with two signatures. Like, I should have just done the one signature and it would have been fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just eyeball. Now, you know what? Where's my measuring tape? I have a measuring tape, but I can't find when I need it. There it is. Okay. <sighs> now, this is clearly not even all the way across anyway, so it's about, what, one and a half? And it's almost one and three, it's one and three quarters down here. So, damn it, I just moved my whole camera. Sorry.
I should have used my old tripod instead of this plastic one. Okay. So, I'm just going to measure three quarters because I'm probably going to cut it one and three quarters because I'm probably going to cut it too short anyway. So I'm just going to mark it just outside so I can see it. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that piece off. Where's my mark? Right there. my rotary cutter and well this one was already done but like on this one I use no oh see it's still crooked anyway it don't matter I just cut crooked just part of my charm I guess okay so now we got both sides on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on here I'm gonna put glue right here or actually, I could just put glue here on both sides like I did with that other one. I think that was easier. And then... We'll go from there. Where's my pen? You know, so irritating. Because you're on camera, you're wanting to go fast. Because people don't want to watch videos forever, and... But then you hurry and you put things away and you lose things and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now, this is the glue I'm using. Hopefully I'll be able to flip this video around. World Bond. I got it at a yard sale. I'm just using it up. It's really expensive. It's like, not expensive. I mean, craft glue is expensive. This glue is, I think, 8 to $12 a bottle. But I, like I said, I got a yard sale for a dollar. And I love it. I use it for everything. And I haven't had anything fall off yet. So that's why I keep using it. So, like I said, I'm just going to put a bunch of glue down. Both sides of the thing. And then I'm going to really I'm gonna paint it on my glue brush. And I'm sure I'm gonna have some excess glue. really want it in the middle because I want that fabric to stay down set my glue brush aside and now I'm going to carefully set it in the middle first for the middle and then I'm gonna put one side down then the other side down carefully see and I have a little bit of over under here And I flipped it over, so now I got all this glue on the wrong side. Let me get a rag. Wipe this excess glue. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to cover this up anyway, but shoot. Well, if you can't mess up on camera. Hmm. 
<laughs> I love how the one I did on camera turns out the crappiest of all of them. See how crappy it is? But I'm going to cover up these whole sides anyway, so you're just going to see this pretty part anyway. But like, well that one, like I said, was already like that. But on this one, I don't think I did bad. It's a little, well, okay, never mind. I'm just crooked. Like I said, I'm going to cover it up anyway. The edges. I'm always bad with the edges. And that's pretty much it. Then what I was doing was I was using a clothespin to hold the paper up. And then I was using a dowel to just kind of hold the paper up while it dried. And I only did this for like an hour. And then it was pretty much dry enough that you could take it away. But that's pretty much it. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you know someone who's already done this before, let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. If you think it's a good idea, please share it. Please do your own. Tag me in them. I want to see you guys do it better. I did try to use my sewing machine to do this because I'm sure it'd be a lot easier. But like I said, I'm bad with lines. I'm bad with taking my time to do it straight and perfect. So if you're good at that, sewing machine probably work way better to get the signatures onto the thing, to the fabric. And then, but whatever. Like if you change it up, show me how you do it. Maybe you do it better. That'd be cool. All you know, that's cool. I just wanted to get this out here. I thought it was a good idea. My boyfriend who doesn't even do crafts thought it was a good idea. So I just thought, what the hell.